Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. South Korean President Yoon Suk Yeol warmly received Romanian President Klaus Johannes in Seoul, where they engaged in discussions aimed at bolstering cooperation in the military industry. Their talks centered on joint weapons production and the supply of K-9 self-propelled howitzers, signaling South Korea's broader strategy to fortify its presence in the global defense sector, particularly in Europe. Notably, Poland stands as another significant partner of South Korea, with recent dialogues between the two nations' authorities focusing on the provision of K-9 self-propelled howitzers and Chunmu KMLRS. The defense ties between Romania and South Korea have been underscored by recent agreements, highlighting their shared commitment to military modernization and defense collaboration. Particularly, Hanwha Aerospace of South Korea is in negotiations for a contract valued at about 1 trillion won, approximately $725.7 million, to supply K-9 howitzers to Romania. If finalized, this would mark the first major defense contract between the two nations, carrying substantial implications for bolstering Romania's defense capabilities. Moreover, in 2021, a memorandum of understanding was inked between Hanwha and the Romanian State Defense Company, laying the groundwork for the export of the K-9 self-propelled howitzer and infantry fighting vehicles. This milestone marked the initiation of a long-term partnership in technology and logistics support. In tandem with these efforts, South Korean Defense Minister Shin Won-sik held discussions with Polish Deputy Defense Minister Paweł Bejda, with a focus on an imminent contract for Hanwha Aerospace to provide an additional 70 Chunmu rocket artillery units worth $1.6 billion. This follows Poland's substantial $22 billion weapons purchase from South Korea. In 2022, Poland sealed a significant agreement with South Korea for the acquisition of military equipment worth $22 billion, representing South Korea's largest arms sale to date. This landmark deal encompasses over 150 K-9 Thunder self-propelled artillery units, 288 Chunmu multiple rocket launchers, and a substantial order of K-2 Black Panther main battle tanks. Beyond equipment procurement, the two nations have engaged in joint military exercises, bolstering interoperability and mutual understanding between their armed forces. The K-9 Thunder stands as a South Korean self-propelled 155mm howitzer crafted by Hanwha Defense. Engineered to meet the operational requirements of the Republic of Korea Armed Forces, the K-9 boasts a maximum firing range of approximately 40 km with standard NATO ammunition, extendable up to 60 km with rocket-assisted projectiles. Designed for high mobility and rapid response, it can execute three rounds in 15 seconds for shoot-and-scoot tactics, minimizing exposure to enemy fire. The K-239 Chunmu, or Korean Multiple Launch Rocket System, KMLRS, is a versatile artillery system developed by Hanwha Defense. Capable of firing a variety of munitions including guided rockets and missiles, the Chunmu offers rapid-fire capability to engage enemy targets across various ranges. With up to 12 tubes for 239mm rockets or two pods of four 130mm rockets each, it ensures flexibility and firepower in diverse combat scenarios. These initiatives are complemented by technology transfers and training programs, ensuring proficient maintenance and operation of the acquired equipment by Polish engineers and technicians trained in South Korea. This collaborative effort underscores both nations' commitment not only to bolstering their national security but also to fostering peace and regional stability amidst mounting security challenges. The ongoing negotiations and contracts reflect South Korea's strategic leverage amid Russia's invasion of Ukraine, aiming to expand its market presence in Europe, the Middle East, and Asia. Concurrently, the South Korean parliament has taken steps to facilitate these large-scale deals by easing restrictions on state export financing, streamlining future agreements. South Korea's aspirations extend beyond mere market expansion, seeking deeper integration with potential and existing partner nations in the defense sector. This strategic positioning is pivotal as South Korea endeavors to fortify its defense capabilities and assert a more influential role on the global stage amidst escalating geopolitical tensions. That's all for now. See you later.